You don't need us to tell you that video game movies don't have the best reputation. Even the ones that aren't necessarily awful are generally deemed to be uh, alright at best. But no matter how many Super Mario Bros and Street Fighters are made, there will always be studios looking at the idea of a big screen adaptation with dollar signs in their eyes and a cha-ching sound effect playing in their heads. While the list of completed and released video game movies isn't very long, the list of video game movies in perpetual development is, with no one involved wanting to admit that most of them sunk years ago without a trace. However, that list of non-existent movies does contain some very interesting, frustrating, and downright confusing development histories, some of which we're going to be talking about today. So stick on your producer's hat, sit in the director's chair with your name on the back, and be prepared to shout, WHAT?! THAT MOVIE WOULD HAVE BEEN AMAZING! Because I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 video game movies that will never be made. Number 10. Uncharted. Okay, I know what the name of this video is, but allow us just one topical point on the list. Out of all the movies featured here, Uncharted is the most likely to end up actually existing, but it has definitely been a long time coming. An Uncharted movie was announced way back in the innocent, heady days of 2008, then was promptly stuck in development hell for the next decade. As it stands, a grand total of 12 different scriptwriters and 6 different directors have joined and left the production, as well as Chris Pratt and Mark Wahlberg being cast as Nathan Drake, rumours of Robert De Niro as Drake's father, and Joe Pesci as his uncle, and Nathan Fillion being royally snubbed for Drake despite numerous fan campaigns and starring in the successful fan film. Still, over a decade since this all started, principal photography began in March 2020, with Tom Holland as Drake and Mark Wahlberg as Vic to Sullivan. However, the shutting down of the entire planet, thanks to one thing or another, has meant the entire project has yet again been put on indefinite hold. So who knows when it's going to come out? Maybe early next year. Number 9. Bioshock. From a movie that may eventually happen to a movie that is well and truly, and rather fittingly, sunk. Only a year after its release, Universal Pictures had big plans to transform Bioshock's rotting underworld of Rapture into a blockbuster hit, with Pirates of the Caribbean director Gore Verbinski at the helm. Take-Two Interactive's chairman Strauss Zelnick even set up a state-of-the-art deal to make sure that it gets made. It then promptly failed to get made. According to a 2017 Reddit AMA with Gore Verbinski, Universal saw making a big-budget R-rated Bioshock movie as a risk after the failure of Watchmen. In 2008, two months before filming was due to start, Verbinski handed over directing to Juan Carlos Fresnadillo, not wanting to change his vision to a more family-friendly affair. Ken Levine was also not keen and promptly pulled an Of Mice and Men on the project and killed it square dead. Spoilers for Of Mice and Men, by the way, sorry. It is tragic that Verbinski's Bioshock was never made, especially with how well the similar aesthetic worked in the pirate films, but considering the family-friendly, bloodless blockbuster that it probably would have become under Universal's direction, it was probably for the best. Number 8. God of War if Jason Momoa were a fictional character, people would laugh about how such a relentlessly cool guy couldn't actually exist, and yet he does. He apparently hasn't crossed enough names off his fictional badass's bingo card yet, because after playing Conan the Barbarian, Aquaman, and Khal Drogo, he now has his sights set on Kratos the God Killer himself. As with many video game adaptations, a God of War movie has been talked about since the game's inception in 2005, barely four months after the first game in the franchise was released. Five years later, a script was turned down by Daniel Craig, an interesting choice for the Man Mountain that is Kratos, and a new actor had to be cast instead, although whoever that was has never been revealed. A decade later, there have been next to no updates whatsoever, except that a script apparently does exist, as does a budget of $150 million. As for the director, producers, and the cast? Uh, I don't know. While Jason Momoa is still interested in playing Kratos, potential director Stephen S. DeKnight wants Dave Bautista for the role. I say they fight for it. I'd buy a ticket to watch that. Number 7. Halo. Someone apparently had a bee in their bonnet about making movies out of video games during the mid-2000s, seemingly riding the wave of hubris from the box office success of Tomb Raider and ignoring the utter flop that was the Cradle of Life two years later. Still, plans were drawn up for a Halo movie in 2005 and shared between Fox and Universal. Future ex Machina director Alex Garland wrote the initial script, delivering it to the prospective studios with couriers dressed like Master Chief, which we don't have footage of, so take this gorgeous photo Photoshop instead. Wow! <laughs> That's amazing. 
After a mind-boggling timeline of studio partnerships, gross percentages, and revenue breakdowns that made my head hurt to read so I will spare you, Universal and Fox fell out massively over money in 2007 and the entire project was thrown figuratively in the bin. Steven Spielberg apparently then fished the idea out of that figurative bin because he's still on board with creating a 10-episode Halo miniseries for Showtime, which was due to begin production in late 2019. However, with what is going on as of mid-2020, its air date may not be for a while yet. Number 6. Metroid Yet another video game adaptation, yet again, first mentioned in the 2000s. After an initial pitch for a Metroid movie fell through in 2004, once the rights expired, it was picked up again by Mission Impossible 2 director John Woo for a cinematic release in 2006, and uh, well, it's been 14 years since then and there's been no news, so most people seem to assume it's dead and buried. After the infamous failure of Super Mario Bros in 1993, a blight that has tainted the taste of every prospective video game movie since, Nintendo has been far stricter with their property rights, making it very difficult for anyone to even get their permission to draw up ideas for a Metroid film. Tiger Hill, who sounded like an awesome guy until I realised it was the name of the production company, brought on writers to help explore Samus's backstory, which proved difficult when they realised that no one at Nintendo had really given it much thought. It all unravelled from there. With Samus having no real motivation, she couldn't really be a backable movie heroine, so until someone comes up with an idea that Nintendo really likes, the movie isn't going to happen. Maybe one day, but not anytime soon. Number 5. Roller Coaster Tycoon Well hey, a video game movie not pitched in the mid-2000s, that's a nice change. Released in 1999, Roller Coaster Tycoon wasn't the first tycoon game, but it certainly paved the way for a hell of a lot more of them. Zoo Tycoon, Airport Tycoon, War Crimes Tycoon, anyway. There's loads of them. Still, it isn't that much of a surprise that the idea came about. It's not necessarily difficult to write a movie about a theme park and loosely connect it to the game series, which seems to be the plan according to director Harold Zwart when the project was first announced back in 2010. 2006's Night at the Museum was a major inspiration for the project, but after looking through the elephant graveyard of web pages relevant to the project, that seems to be about it in terms of news. It's still not entirely clear why Sony decided to make a go at Roller Coaster Tycoon a decade after it was originally released, as it didn't even have a main series entry between 2004 and 2016. Wyatt even said at the bottom of their 2010 article, there's probably a method to Sony's madness, but I don't think there was. Number 4. The Sims Ah, oh, well, that was short-lived. Another entry, another hubristic pitch for a movie from the mid-2000s. Yet again, in 2007, 20th Century Fox purchased the rights to The Sims, planning on making it into a live-action film. Considering the main draw of The Sims is, depending on the kind of person you are, either designing the houses, designing the humans, micromanaging every aspect of The Sims' lives, or trapping them in an endless cycle of torment, locking them inside rooms, deleting swimming pool ladders, or watching them die in increasingly cruel and bizarre ways, the film would either have been a straight family-centric drama that happened to be called The Sims, or a horrific exploration of a family's hellish experience at the whims of an invisible and merciless god. A script was written by Secret Life of Pets writer Brian Lynch and had producers attached, however, when Disney bought Fox in 2019 and saw the state of all the pending in-production movies kept in a back room like that scene in Alien Resurrection, they decided to pull the plug, or rather, take a blowtorch to it all. Number 3. Borderlands While a movie called The Borderlands does exist, it unfortunately isn't the one we're talking about, and exists only to torment those game fans who momentarily get excited that a film exists before having their dreams crushed like that Skag's face in the opening cinematics, and that the cool music that we can't play. YouTube's rubbish, isn't it? Along with Uncharted, this is another film that might well make it, against the stacked odds of it sinking without a trace like all the other entries on this list. Announced this year, or 2020 if you're watching from the future. The recent success of Sonic the Hedgehog and Detective Pikachu has apparently reignited the spark that video game movies might make money. Directed by Eli Roth and executive produced by Randy Pitchford, it's not clear which of the three games the movie will be based on, or if it will be a brand new story entirely. While casting is still not confirmed, Kate Blanchett is apparently being considered for the role of Lilith, which has caused some debate among fans about whether the 51-year-old should play the 20-something siren. Still, it's not her first rodeo in playing ethereal, all-powerful women, so who are we to judge? Not this guy, she scares me. Number 2. Centipede 
This is a two-for-one deal for Atari, as in 2016 they announced they were partnering with Emmett slash Furler Oasis Films, who I've never heard of and I'm fairly sure you haven't either, although apparently they are responsible for this, to make a pair of films based on their popular 1980s arcade classics Centipede and Missile Command. A bizarre choice considering some of their other famous titles that haven't really had any decent adaptations yet. E slash FO, cool abbreviation, seems to want to make gaming, including board games, movie adaptations their bread and butter as they also began planning for a Monopoly movie back in 2015, although neither this nor the two Atari games have had any press coverage or news since 2016. Like with Roller Coaster Tycoon, a centipede movie wouldn't necessarily be that difficult to adapt considering it doesn't have the deepest lore. You're in a forest of giant mushrooms, blaze it, battling a monstrously big Carboniferous period centipede with a gun, you, you that is, not uh, the centipede, like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator. There isn't much in terms of actual plot, however, the Wikipedia synopsis is a grand total of a single sentence and… Uh, wait, you were a garden gnome all this time. Number 1. Just Cause Yet another slow crawl of a development history. Just Cause, or as Microsoft Word is trying to correct it to, Just Because, was first announced as getting a movie adaptation in 2010. A few years later, in 2015, it was announced that filming was about to begin, before it apparently didn't, because 2017 then rolled around with Jason Momoa being cast as Rico Rodriguez, followed by a script being worked on in 2018 with Rampage director Brad Payton, who then promptly left the project in uh, 2019. Still following? Because I'm bloody not. My head still hurts from all the legal jargon in the Halo entry. Suffice to say, though, nothing of the movie actually exists yet, although as of 2019 there were articles about how it's still in the works with Jason Momoa as the lead, so it doesn't seem to have been completely wiped out yet. I just want to see how exactly they'll achieve the wingsuit flights, the subsequent crashes, and also the sheer exhilarating joy of attaching a rocket to a cow and watching it shoot off into the sky at 200 miles per hour. I know the RSPCA won't be pleased, but the cows are all CG, so we think it's fine. And that's our list. What other video game movies do you wish finally emerged from their perpetual development hell? There are a lot of them, so shove them in the comments below. You can follow myself and Triple Jump on Twitter here, and while you're at it, why not support the things you enjoy by having a look at our Patreon. Finally, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and thanks for watching.